crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord. What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And this time I wanted to quickly touch on the recent events uh, spawned by our boy DSP and his epic rant uh, from several days ago where Phil just completely lost his mind and decided to chastise and scream at the dents because apparently they were memeing on him uh, talking about how the latest Yakuza game apparently mirrors Phil's life. And Phil's just upset. He 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 was going through a bad day. He's been going he's been going through a bad couple weeks. And uh, he decided to lash out. Uh because apparently uh King B. Cruel, one of his loyal dents who's been a member for almost three years on his channel, decided to post oh I think I believe it was a super chat or a member uh milestone or something. Where he stated, he stated that it was kind of cringe of Phil to compare himself to a video, compare his life to a video game, and this, of course, spawned Phil to just lose his mind. Let's watch a little bit of this rant, and we'll get into the whole uh, King B. Cruel breaking the pignosis. It's funny because, you know. By the way, how about this? I don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like, he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb fucking memes. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. Just because I'm dark side Phil doesn't mean I get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Yeah. And I'm fucking pissed about it. Because I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? I can't say a fact? What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? Kiss my fucking ass. Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King be bitch. You're gonna say dumb shit like that in the fucking chat? And everyone else who said that too. Because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day. Right? You dumb fuck. Shut the fuck up. No one cares about your bitch-ass, memeable opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle-jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense, and no one fucking cares about you except your circle-jerking community. The problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it, or you shut the fuck up. Okay, folks, now, this isn't your boy Duty. You know, he's, he's not talking about your boy Duty, who's a detractor of Phil, and post content, so on, no, 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 no. This is someone, and I have some proof right here, this is someone that has sent money to fill over and over again every single month on top of super chats, possible tips, whatever, super thing. This is a guy who's been a member for two years and, and excuse me, two years and eight months. This isn't a detractor. This isn't somebody who um, LARPs on Phil and likes to, you know, take a dump on him every so often. No, no, no. This is someone who was a loyal listener, a fan, someone who enjoyed his content, and paid him. Who was willing to fork money out of his pocket, not a gifted membership. Fork four bucks out of his pocket every single month and give it to this man. 
And he had the nerve to yell at this guy because he posted a comment. And again, the comment wasn't, oh, Phil, you're a moron, or oh, Phil, you're stupid, or oh, Phil, what? No, he just said, hey, I think it's kind of cringe that you're comparing your life to a video game. Pretty innocuous comment, not hurtful, not harmful. It's not harmful to Phil's family. This was just something that the guy felt like. And at that, I believe it was a super chat he gave Phil. He gave him a super chat and said, hey, dude, I just think it's kind of cringe. And that caused that diatribe to come out of Phil's mouth. Can you imagine what he would do to someone who wasn't giving him any money? Again, it just goes along the, the lines that Phil doesn't care about anything but money. He All he cares about is money. All he cares about is what you can do for him. And if he deems you as someone that can't do anything for him, then he'll discard you. He'll yell. He'll treat you like shit. He'll berate you in front of everyone and tell you to eat shit out of his ass, just like he told King B. Cruel. And again, I want to emphasize the point that this, again, isn't some detractor or someone who LARPs on him every day. No, this is someone who was in his chat, who talked, who chatted, who communicated with Phil, who gave him money and was a contributor to his streams for two years and eight months. And this is how Phil treated this dude because he made a comment that Phil disliked. It's despicable. Now, I'm, I'm happy that King Boo Crew finally woke up here, as you can see from this Twitter post. And he said that, uh, he posted, he said, I was a fan of DSP for years, and he admitted he was a fan. As of recent, everyone has seen his meltdown over my comment, which is true. I have stopped supporting him and see him for the maniac he is. All he care about is money and nothing else. Send me that spoon, asshole, so I can send you my bleep, my shit. So it looks like he finally woke up and broke the pycnosis and will no longer be giving Phil any money, which I hope is the case because we, we know of many detractors who say the same thing. I'm looking at you, Snow Carl, have spazzed out, pissed, been pissed, and left and come and came back under a different name or have come back just all together. Because they, 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 they can't get enough of uh, Phil, you know, eating, eating shit out of Phil's ass. So they come back and keep throwing him money and, you know, all is forgotten. And I really hope that that's not the case here for King B. Cruel. I hope he, he, he realizes the scumbag that is Phil and that most of the world knows that he is. And the reason why I'm highlighting this video is not because of King B. Cruel. I'm highlighting it for the multiple hundreds of detractors that Phil himself has created. Phil, th this is Phil's work. Phil, you took someone that supported you, that gave you money every, you know, they gave you money, not every day, but gave you money. You took that person and turned him into a detractor because you disliked something he said. You saw him as disloyal. You saw him as an, a as an adversary because again, he said one thing that you did not like. It just goes to show you the type of person Phil is. And I hope this shows as a glaring example of what you get when you associate yourself with Pig Roach DSP. That's what you get. That This is exactly what you get. If you don't get it today, if you don't get it tomorrow, eventually you will be the brunt of Phil's abuse. Phil is the textbook example of an abusive spouse. Phil an abuser, not an abuse spouse, an abuser, someone that abuses their spouse. Phil is the abuser and his chat and his dents are the abusee. They're, they're, they're the wife that, you know, when they, when they say something the husband doesn't like, they get a black eye, right? Right in the face. And, and you're supposed to suck it up and like it because that's what you deserve. And it just amazes me that there's still a couple hundred people that actually still put up with this shit. You think I would support a man that would talk to me in this way? Fuck no. Hell no. And the other reason why I'm like I'm highlighting this is because this is the only person that's done this. We've know of several of people that have actually left the farm this year and last year. Or well, mainly last year, I apologize, we're at the beginning of the year. But people that we've known that have just left, they got tired of Phil's shit and they moved on. Many of them very quiet, they just left quietly and just 
went on to go support and watch someone else. But some, just like King B. Cruel here, decided to dis voice their displeasure and post it out on Twitter. And the funny thing is he's now following various detractors. So as you can see, he's uh, he's following me and following a, a couple other people. Uh, so I'm hoping that this sticks. I really hope that he doesn't come back to Phil and uh, re-ups his membership and starts giving him money and so on. It, it's just despicable. It just is. And it looks like he was more than just a member of DSP Gaming. It looks like he also supported Phil's other channels. So yeah, I just find it hilarious that, you know, um, Phil thinks that he is this great person and done nothing wrong. And he doesn't understand why anyone would hate on him or detract on him. This is the reason why I feel right here. King B. Cruel is the prime example for why people dislike you and why you have so many haters and detractors. And why so many people are willing to take the time to create content to expose the pig roach that you are, Phil. So keep it up. It's early. We're not even out of January yet. And you're spiraling out of control like the crazy maniac you are. And it's just going to get worse for you this year, Phil. It's going to get worse. And of course, your boy dude is going to be here. The Chronicle... 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 <laughs> to follow everything. To make videos. And make everywhere of what's going on. By the way, a good amount of people actually told uh, King B. Cruel that they were happy that... You know, he, he broke the pignosis. But of course, some, some people are, you know, hesitant. I mean, some people are saying, hey, you thought this guy was a scumbag, but you, put, you gave him money. Uh, I said the same thing. I said, yeah, you still donated to the guy. And uh, he said, to be honest, you know, the rant, the rant was with his last straw, I guess. Uh, but the interesting thing is that he did see other, you know, he did see Phil treat other people like shit. And uh, he was fine with, you know, he, he was fine with it. It just became a problem uh, when Phil decided to turn his attention on King B. Cruel. But anyway, that's beside the point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. King B. Cruel, I'll be looking out for you. I'll be making sure that you don't go in there and be tipping Phil. And uh, hopefully the pignosis, breaking of the pignosis sticks forever. Peace out.